it's so nice in here. Uh, the king size bed, clean sheets, the long stem roses. Whew, they did it up big for us. Were you talking to me? <clears throat> Ta da! <laughs> you made the bed and arranged the rose petals in the shape of a heart? <laughs> Gee, you really are a sucker for cheesy romance. Oh, I don't know. I, I just. I always tried to do something for Ashley to start her day off right. You know? I, I know we're not. Or, um, that we didn't do uh, that. But romance comes in many shades, doesn't it? No, we didn't do that, and we're not going to do that. We're friends, okay? I'm grateful you chose me for the sexy suite. I needed it after yesterday, but you get that this isn't happening between us, right? You're just... you're just not my type. Oh. It's nothing personal. You're a nice guy. I get that you're America's sweetheart. <laughs> that the whole laying yourself down at the altar of love... It's a little saccharine for me, you know? Oh, wow. That sounds pretty personal. Can I come in? Are you decent? We gotta film the morning after. You're not interrupting anything. Gwen B, have you been showering nonstop? I'm worried about your skin. Won't it dry out? <laughs> you weren't worried about my skin yesterday when you had me on burning coals. So, was a night of R&R &R just what the doctor ordered? Ooh, I, I wouldn't mind seeing the doctor, actually. This this burn on my ankle is looking pretty bad. <laughs> oh, Bryce. How'd you both sleep? Did you, uh, explore Gwen's desert island, if you know what I mean? We slept fine, Tommy. I took the floor. Nothing happened. Or is going to happen. I was just explaining this to Bryce. Come on, Gwen. Didn't you see Bryce in a more naked light last night? Can we just film this so I can head back to the beach? Yeah, we'll do a little B-roll, and then we'll be out of your hair. Good. I want to get on with my day. Tonight on Sexy Island. After Bryce dramatically saved Gwen from eviction and chose her to spend the night with him in the sexy suite, the sparks were still too small to survive. It's now been a week of multiple shocking exits from Sexy Island. Gwen B has been determined to fan the flames by spending every night with a different man in the sexy suite. But with island numbers dwindling, will she finally be forced to fall into the right arms? Find out tonight on Sexy Island. How's it going, Bryce? I'm not gonna lie, Tommy. I'm lonely. Wait, this is so good. Save some for the cameras. Action, go, go. So Bryce, this past week you haven't seemed like yourself. You've been distant, you're not doing well in challenges, you've escaped elimination, but there isn't that same big Bryce energy. Was it hard for you to see Gwen go to the sexy suite with Scooter the very next night? She's been in the sexy suite with a different guy every night this week. It's impressive. I'm trying to get to know other women. And how's that going? Hard. Most of them are still upset with me for saving Gwen. Mmm, yes. And what does that look like? Well, Tommy, they, uh, they made a hut of driftwood and won't let me stay with them. They ignore me. The men are nicer, but Gwen is wherever Scooter is, so that's, you know, uh, I'm mostly by myself. I, I found a coconut tree with, with a nice canopy, so I guess me and the old coconut tree are uh, vibing. Uh, sounds lonely. Cindy made me a grass skirt for one of the luau parties, but it doesn't feel right. Yeah, Gwen's got something you can't resist. Hey guys, let's cut. Bryce, a mope doesn't play well with audiences. Or Gwen. Sorry, Tommy. Maybe I should go home. Well, no, no one ever said that. I came here for love, and it's not working out. Things would probably be easier if I, if I wasn't around. Leaving Sexy Island is a big mistake, Bryce. I wouldn't want you to take it lightly. I'm gonna go sit with my coconut tree. I'll see you around. Okay, let's let's go to our happy place, Bryce. Time for some math. Let's estimate the perimeter of this island. That'll make us feel better. Six miles? That would make the radius, uh, one mile? Huh. I I've walked this island how many times now? 
It's funny, there are no docks, and I haven't seen a plane since day one. I wonder how Esmeralda and Merlin got off the island, or, or Tyler, or Hannah. <sighs> Nothing here, just jungle. Where are the medical tents? I mean, this, this foot is still looking bad. You know what? I'm out of here. Yeah, I I'm done with the bugs and the, and the burns and- Hey Bryce, you've been gone for a while. We're ready for the next challenge. I'm out, Tommy. Sorry, I, I tried to make it work. I I'm just not cut out for Sexy Island. Uh, hold on, Bryce. Listen, Bryce, that's not going to work. I talked with Chuck and you're not leaving. What? Take it up with Chuck if you have a problem. Now come on, let's get you in position for the next challenge. Can you hear me up here? Echo! You're on a 10-foot platform. It's not like you're on top of a skyscraper. I'm ready to start rolling. And action! 12 sexy singles remain as we get ready for the next challenge. Extreme Trust Falls! <laughs> Trust may be the most essential ingredient to a long-lasting, healthy relationship. Many of us throughout our lives have had our trust broken. We open ourselves up, become vulnerable, we get hurt, and we don't want to get hurt again. So what do we do? We shut down. Take, for example, my wife, or soon-to-be ex-wife, as Gwen B. so generously points out whenever she can. Did my ex-wife trust me when I said that I'd retire from hosting SR TV shows and we'd travel the world with her newly found tolerance for flying? No. Instead, she believed some very erroneous rumors about my next project as well as my doctor's ominous assessment of my mental health and hired an expensive divorce attorney. But you are still hosting SR TV shows. For our next challenge, we will be doing Extreme Trust Falls. For those of you doing the falling, you'll be doing so from progressively higher and higher platforms, all in the name of becoming vulnerable and learning to trust. The couple who can scale the highest wins. Tommy, is now a bad time to admit I'm afraid of heights? You're already in the doghouse, buddy. Don't look so scared, people. You know the drill. Falling vast distances is the only method at SRTV's disposal to symbolize your falling in love. He's right, Bryce. Look, now's your chance to get back in the good graces of some of the women. Those guns should be able to catch anyone from any height. You're ripped, dude. I was actually a spotter in gymnastics, so... Of course you were. Now go find a lady. Sure, it won't be Gwen, but it'll show everyone what a catch you are. Get it? Catch? <laughs> I really don't like this. Scooter and I have great chemistry, so we should be partners. Partners? Isn't that a little fast? It's a challenge, Scooter. We need to pair up. I thought you'd want to be partners with me. Whatever. Whatever? You weren't saying whatever when you picked me to join you in the sexy suite the other night. Look, I'll be your partner or whatever, but just chill. It should be easy for you, Ice Queen. Looks like you're taking a real leadership position, Gwen. Hmm. Bryce says hi, by the way. I know you two haven't been talking, but he still really cares about you. Yeah. Pairs, go to your platforms. Let's get to trusting. Okay, Scooter, you ready? Uh, I don't know. Just don't drop me. I'm falling in three, two, one! Whoa! Oh! Dude! That was a six-foot drop! Looks more like five to me. Why are you being such a jerk today? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because you've been in the sexy suite with, like, a different guy every night this week? Uh, uh. Yo, Tommy, is the tiki bar open? Always. Cool. I'm out. Later. Ugh. Gwen, quick interview? Sure. Okay, let's roll. And action. So Scooter left you for a tiki bar, Gwen. How does that make you feel? I don't know why I trusted someone who I knew was an ass. But that's kind of a pattern for you, isn't it? What's Bryce up to? Oh, you're curious about Bryce? Let's go take a look. I'd love to capture you looking longingly at him, imagining the what-ifs as he catches women effortlessly in his massive arms. 
Uh, is this your fantasy? <laughs> I'm a producer, Gwen. I have to frame the moment. <laughs> Cindy, you're such a hoot. We're already up to eight feet. Ah, don't worry, I got you. Uh -huh. I know you do, Bryce. You're strong. Ready? Here I go. Whee! <sighs> <laughs> Easy. Hi, Cindy. Bryce? Uh, Gwen, it's good to see you. Why are you here? Did you get eliminated? None of the guys could catch me. Or wanted to. Um, I thought I'd see what all the fuss is over here. Oh, well, uh, we're having fun. He's a natural. Uh-huh. It looks like we're down to Cindy and Bryce, and Lauren and Derek. If Bryce can catch Cindy from the highest platform, they will be our winners. Wait, I think Bryce is cheating. Wait, I'm not cheating. Hear me out. Bryce doesn't struggle with getting other people to trust him. Bryce's problem is in trusting other people, the wrong people. Good point, Gwen. Ergo, Bryce should let me catch him. What a novel, subversive idea. Let's do it. Bryce, you climb the ladder up to the highest platform. Gwen B, you catch Bryce. Gwen, maybe you didn't hear, but I'm very afraid of heights. Less talking, more climbing. Come on, Bryce, we're rooting for you. Bryce, we'll count you down. Are you ready? I think I'm gonna black out. Three, two. <gasps> oh no, he fell early. Did you did you catch me? I can't see. D did you catch me? Yeah, yeah, I caught you. Are you okay? Did I hurt you? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Oh. Gwen, be to the rescue. What a stroke of genius! What a moment! <sighs> Brilliant! The winners of the challenge! Uh, thanks, Chuck. No, thank you. You may have saved Sexy Island with that little stunt. Saved? Let's cut and reset. Gwen, truly amazing stuff. I'm so proud of you two. Is our favorite couple back together again? Uh, could you guys give me a minute? I think I'm pretty injured. Sure, sure, shake it off. <sighs> Why don't you go for a stroll along the beach? Right. Bryce, did you... Want to accompany me? Yeah. Okay, but Mike's on you two. We'll get some footage of Bryce carrying you across the beach. I'll catch up with you when you're back. Ah! Oh! I've never gotten so many injuries on a reality show before. You're talking to me again. What happened with Scooter? Once again, I go for a bad boy who disappoints me. Surprise, surprise. Ah! <laughs> that bad? He smells like dude, he snores, and he took up the entire bed the night we were in the sexy suite. I slept on the floor of the bathroom. All the guy wants to do is get drunk, party, then pass out. Not even I can manufacture a romance with a guy like that. Sounds brutal. I'm glad you two are done. And that you cared enough to try to help me today in the challenge. Or whatever it was that you did. You know, I tried to eliminate myself today. What? Why? I guess I was feeling lonely, like I didn't have anyone, not even a friend. Well, the coconut tree. But when I told Tommy I wanted to leave, he kind of flipped. He got really aggro and told me I couldn't leave, that he talked with Chuck and it wasn't allowed. That's really creepy. Right? Hold on, I'm switching my mic off. Turn yours off too. I heard Tommy having this intense conversation with Chuck about how you and I had to get together. That it was crucial for Sexy Island. You and me? Yeah, it was weird. It kind of sounded like you're saying that they're obsessed with keeping us here. Not only that, but since I've been spending so much time alone, I've walked this entire island multiple times, and I never see any boats, any planes. Sometimes... I think we're... <clears throat> Bryce, Gwen, I thought I told you to keep your mics on. Chuck would like a word with you two. Now. <laughs> <laughs>